but I'm shocked that right now people are so much more aware of what's going on. People actually think about their phones and whether or not they're encrypted now. A month ago, did anybody think about that? No. no. So it's really Are our phones shocking. encrypted? Uh, if you have an iPhone, uh, there's a good chance. If you have to put in that password, if you have a thing where it erases your phone after 10 times, then yes, it's yeah. a newer iPhone, newer, newer iOS. So, so many more people are aware that they at least have access to this very uh, pretty serious level, you know, encryption. Uh, obviously, the passwords are still, you know, a, a, a weak point there, a point of entry. So you can't use that one, two, three, four that like 20% of yeah. people apparently still use as their password. Here's an interesting thought. With the, with the phone that the FBI is trying to get into with yeah. Apple. If that phone had a fingerprint reader, yeah. yes, it's more secure in some ways, but all you gotta do is, is tie a guy down and take his hand and force it onto the phone, yeah. like in a movie or something. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. Right in. Yeah. I, I like your, um, your advice about take a phrase. Yes. And then add the. Like a formula. Come yeah. up with your own formula that no yeah, one else knows. Don't use the one I suggested. Come up with your. But I think it's good yeah. to suggest. I thought that was really. I thought that was interesting. I think it's the only way to come up with a different, unique password for every single thing you do and be able to remember yeah. them. Otherwise, you're like my mother. There's a little card, uh, a recipe card box with index cards, and each password goes on the card box and it goes right next like to the computer. I